Yo, what's going on? I'm just gonna say this like this. There is nothing that anyone or the enemy can do or put in your life to stop you from God's purpose in your life. The only person that can stop you is you. It starts here in your mindset. When you believe that your dreams will come true and that you can do it, nothing, nothing will stop you. Even if people try to stop you, even if the enemy tries to stop you, whoever or whatever or what circumstances try to stop you, it will not. Even if something happens that day, take it as a hit and not a setback. Get hit and get right back up. Don't stay there. Keep going. Keep moving forward. This is not the time to stand still. It's to take what God gives you today Move it forward tomorrow. Invest it, flip it, keep going. Invest it, flip it, keep going. Do what you got to do today and do what God is telling you today. Move forward and keep yourself together here first. This is where everything starts. It's in your mind. That's why Romans 12, 2 says, renew your mind according to the pattern of God, not the pattern of this world. Don't conform yourself to the pattern of this world. But renew your mind so you can be transformed. Transformed meaning from the inside out and transformed to the pattern of God. And then you could test his will. And believe that you can achieve what God wants you to do. Believe it to receive it. And then achieve it. As Jesus says, if you say to this mountain, move in the water, and you do not doubt in your heart, and you believe without any of a doubt in your heart, then whatever you ask for in prayer will be given to you. So believe it. Keep yourself together here in your mind. Because this is your control tower. Believe you already have the victory. We already have the victory. Jesus already won. The Bible is already written. It's He already knows the beginning to the end. We know the ending. He already won. We're already going to be with him in heaven. So what do you have to worry about here? We're just rehearsing. We are all actors in God's production. And this is all rehearsal. The real production, the real film is in heaven. So make this the best production you can do. Act your best every single day according to God's purpose. You can do it. And you will do it. Be yourself. Trust God. And read the word. If you do not read the word, you will not be equipped. If you do not read the word, you will not be equipped in order to sustain the battles of God and enemy. When you read the word, then you put on the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith. When you read the word, then you know all of devil's, the devil's schemes and what he's trying to do. When you get these words in your head about, oh, I'm not good enough, I can't do it, I don't know if this is possible, then...
if you believe it, then you'll stay in the same place. But that's why we have to read God's word because in God's word, we're powerful, we have strength, we have power, we have discipline, we have self-control, we have a sound mind, we have victory, we're sitting with Jesus in the right hand, Jesus is inside of us, the same power that took Jesus from the dead into life is living inside of us. And he is giving us everything that we need and to accomplish his purpose. So you can't tell me that you can't accomplish what God is telling you to accomplish. The only reason why you, you, you're not accomplishing it or you can't accomplish it is because you don't want to do it. And you don't want to read God's word. But God's word is the only thing that will get you through. God's word is the only thing that can help you. God's word is the only thing that will renew your mind to truth. It was the only thing that will get you out of lies and out of being lost. How do I know? Because I was lost. I, was, I did every religion, every psychic, everything until I found the word of God, until I found Jesus. And, and when you're in his presence, Make sure you find a, a church that you can feel his presence and that the word of God is there. Because when you feel his presence, there is nothing like it. There is nothing like it. I, I can tell you this right now. Nothing. 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 Not a Friday night out with you're the hottest chicks in the world. Not riding a, not riding a you know $200,000 car. I've done all that. But there is nothing like God's presence. And then knowing that he loves you. And then reading God's word because God's word has power and authority. And you have power and authority right now to do what you need to do in God. And to say what you need to say to people. To help people. To achieve. To um, heal people. Because even Jesus said that we will do greater things because he is with us now. He's right, right hand of the Father. He's with us though with the Holy Spirit. So this video, there was really no agenda. I just felt inspired. And the etymology of inspired means, the word inspired means in spirit. I feel very inspired because I know where I'm going. I know where I came from. And I know where I'm at. And I'm in God's will because I have peace. And when you have peace, you're in God's will. And if you don't have peace right now, I pray that if you do not have peace and you don't know Jesus, I pray that you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. If you want to do that, you can just say, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior, and you're saved. And what will happen is that the Holy Spirit will come inside of you and start helping you and start making you a new creation and you have a new life. So anyways, what I want to say to you today is that you can do it. You can do it. I can do it. All I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe all things are possible. According to your faith, it is done to you, as Jesus says. It's like what Henry Ford said, whether you think you're whether you think you're right or whether you think you're wrong, you're right. Or whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right, right? If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, then you can't. So I know that God is going to do something amazing in your life today. And um, if you're watching this, I'm praying for everyone who's watching this right now, Jesus, I pray that you do something amazing in their life today, that you show them that you are real in their life, that you want to help them. And I pray that you give them the strength and the guidance and the power and the authority that they need in order to uh, feel healed, to have peace, 
but also to get into uh, alignment with your will, Lord, and to show them that you are real, Lord. Show them that you love them, Lord. Show them that you love them as your children. And I pray all these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And guys, that's what love is. God's love. God's love is the foundation. God's love is the foundation of the faith. If you don't believe God loves you, then you're going to be wearing yourself out with religion. Trying to do all of these things. But once you know that God loves you, no matter what, it's unconditional love. You're going to be doing all these things because He loves you. And you don't want to do the things that you did in the past because you have a changed heart. Meaning that you look at things in a different perspective and your taste for things change. The things that I used to do a couple years ago, I never do now because it just does not, number one, doesn't bear fruit. Number one, I don't like it anymore. And I'm going to another, I can go into uh, another topic for that. But yes, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He will change your heart, he will change your mind, and he will change your soul. And when you have Jesus in your life, you know where you're going after this world. So there's nothing to worry about. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you guys.